U.S. Navy Carl Vincent Carrier Strike Group arrives in the Philippines. Nimitz-class aircraft carrier at U.S. Carl Vincent CVN-70, flagship of Carrier Strike Group, one embarked carrier air wing, 2W2, Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser, U.S. Princeton SCG-59 and Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers, USS Kid 100 and ESS Stedward F-4 arrived in the U.S. Stedward DG-104, arrived in the Philippines for a scheduled port visit, Jan. Five, this, uh, Visit marks an additional demonstration of the U.S.-Philippine alliance and broader commitment to the Indo-Pacific region. It also serves to fortify relationships with local leaders and communities, reaffirming the seven-decade-old alliance between the U.S. and the Philippines. Port calls are part of the U.S. Navy's routine operations, and CSG-1 is committed to maintaining that tradition to support operational readiness and regional partnership. By understanding and appreciating other cultural backgrounds, we can build stronger relationships, collaborate effectively, and find common ground. All of these are critical when it comes to supporting our allies and partners in the region, said Captain Matthew Thomas, Commanding Officer, us is Carl Vinson. It is a pleasure for the Carrier Strike Group to visit the Republic of Philippines. The US and the Philippines are steadfast friends, partners in prosperity and ironclad allies. Our two countries share democratic values, close cultural ties, and our alliance has stood strong for over 72 years. As our oldest treaty ally in East Asia, the Philippines has shown their unwavering commitment in helping secure a free, open, peaceful, and prosperous Indo-Pacific region, said Riyadam, Carlos Sardiello Commander, CSG-1. Port visits like this one allow our crew time to relax and reset after the demands of daily life at sea. They are vital to providing mental and physical recovery needed for concentration and productivity when we return to sea, I said Captain. Victor Sheldon, Commanding Officer, US Princeton. During their stay in Manila, sailors from the Carrier Strike Group will participate in cultural exchanges, community relations events, and morale welfare and recreation your sponsored tours to enhance cultural understanding and cooperation between the two countries additionally the port call provides an opportunity for csg1 sailors and civilians to rejuvenate while experiencing the rich culture of the philippines preceding their arrival csg1 conducted trilateral maritime exercises with the japan maritime self-defense force and republic of korea navy The exercises provided an opportunity for the three maritime forces to sail together and conduct enhanced planning and advanced maritime communication operations. Carrier Strike Group, one departed San Diego for a regularly scheduled deployment to the Western Pacific, OCT-12, 2023. Since entering the U.S. 7th Fleet Area of Operations, the group participated in the multi-large deck event and annual exercise 2023 in the Philippine Sea. These exercises provided opportunities to collaborate with allied forces such as the Royal Australian Navy, Royal Canadian Navy, and Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force further strengthen regional cooperative efforts. Uh, CSG-1 is a multi-platform team of ships and aircraft capable of carrying out a wide variety of missions around the globe from combat missions to humanitarian assistance and disaster relief response. CSG-1 is currently deployed to U.S. 7th Fleet Area of Operations in support of a free and open Indo-Pacific. U.S. 7th Fleet is the U.S. Navy's largest forward-deployed numbered fleet and routinely interacts and operates with allies and partners in preserving a free and open Indo-Pacific region. 